Hello and welcome to another video of HGV tips for new and existing drivers. As you can see, I'm looking a little bit rough today. Uh, it is Friday, so hopefully by Monday all this will change and I do need a haircut as well. Anyway, on to today's video, no frills reviews. Uh, I'm going to tell you about probably the easiest job, HGV class 2 job this is, that I've had up to date. Now bear in mind, you know, my experience is not massive. I, I passed, I think, February, March. Uh, this year, so <clears throat> I've only had you know a little bit of experience, but it, it feels like you know I've had quite a bit if you know what I mean because I've, I've worked for a different few different companies. But this job I got via an agency, and it's been by far the easiest and the most least stressed job of all, uh, and that's probably of all time, all my working career. It's crazy. So I was sent to name this company. I can't give out the name. Uh, I don't think anyway in this day and age. Um, but it was a food company. As soon as I knew I saw the food company come up on, on the text, I was a little bit worried. I was thinking, food companies, so there's lots of food companies out there who deliver different restaurants. It's a tough job. You get paid a lot of money, but those guys who do it uh, have a very tough job doing that. A lot of handballing, it, you know, so I was dreading it a little bit. Six o'clock start, so I thought, early start, it's going to be a long day, this, you know. <clears throat> anyway, got to uh, the company, um, and I was walked into the office, and I, I couldn't find any wagons anywhere. And I do tend to have a look on Google Earth or websites to see if I can see the wagons because it just gives you an idea of what you're going to be driving, how many wagons there are, etc. Couldn't find any. Um, anyway, the lady came in, gave me a, basically an induction to the job, and she said, you're going to be basically just going to one depot and back again. Uh, so I thought, oh, great, trunking. You know, I, I love that kind of thing. I've, I've never had a trunking job. I'd like to do trunking, uh, to be honest, you know. Uh, so... Got shown the wagon, quite a big wagon, like a refrigerated wagon, although they don't, they didn't actually use a refrigerated unit on it. And my job was basically this. I was covering for two weeks, and I was going to go from that place, that depot, ten minutes drive, down where the other depot was. I was to collect pallets. Now, it would be a combination, so for, you might go, first of all, you would start off your day, do your checks as you would normally do, uh, then I'd set off. And I would probably wait 10 minutes. Well, once I get there, after 10 minutes, I would wait outside the depot for the man to come out to give me a signal to pull on. Chances are that was going to be an hour, just waiting. So I'd just wait there for an hour or so, maybe maybe longer, an hour and a half, until they got the order through that day from the depot I just left. I'd pick up packaging first, so pallets of packaging. And it would be, you know, maybe a good 10, 12, 14 maybe pallets. Uh, it's a box wagon, loaded up. At the end, you'd on a, you would on a pallet truck, you'd shift them round and place them side by side. A little bit of handballing, but not, not, they weren't the heaviest things. After that, I would drive back, I would unload. Well, sorry, I wouldn't unload. I would drive back, back onto the my bay, and I'd get unloaded by the faultless truck drivers. After that, might take a break, maybe not. You, honestly, you wasn't in a rush to have a break at this place. After that, most likely, I would go back to the depot, and I would wait. Now, they might have what they call goods in. So this would be heavy pallets. Um, this was a heavier work. But I'd wait maybe half an hour till he was ready. Maybe an hour again until he was ready again. Give me a signal, I'd back on, he'd load me up. This time you were having pallets of big uh, tomato um, cans, like massive, big as me. You know, really big tomato cans of rice, full pallets of rice, weighing very, very, very heavy. They were heavy. And you could have maybe maybe eight, nine, maybe less, four or five, give or take, it, you know, it, uh, every day varied. And, you know, that was the, the sweaty part. You'd have to obviously lump them up on the uh, pallet truck, move them into place. They were heavy. And when you drove back, you had to drive slow, which wasn't a problem being a 10 minute drive. Came back uh, again, open up the back doors, forklift truck drivers would unload. You would have to shift on this particular area, not on the boxes, because uh, you almost went into like a full bay, but this one was out in the open. You would have to uh, move the pallets to the back of the wagon, and then a forklift truck would then take them on. So you had to be careful. Uh, and they were heavy, but that was the hardest part of the day, basically. After that, you uh, you could go there again, or you could go up and park somewhere else and have dinner for 45 minutes, maybe half an hour, um, give or take, easily. And then you go back to the depot, and you wait again. You might wait. Another half an hour, an hour maybe. Uh, I'm not calculating all this up in the day, but this is on average how it was. And you get loaded your last ones, you know. 
packaging probably and again you have your packaging there and then you had a choice um, to either go back this was unofficially this was a choice to go back get unloaded and maybe finish off your day early or I was told by the driver who I was covering because he had so easy to wait till a certain time and then go back to the depot um, so obviously he told me that for his purposes but I followed so I could be waiting then for maybe another an hour and a half maybe two hours just waiting I just obviously on the phone watching films etc etc once you're unloaded that's it I got back to the depot unloaded and I was finished you had set time six till two I think the original direct driver agreed he would do two six till half two but it didn't really make a difference and literally it was ten minutes free 10 minutes there, 10 minutes back, maybe three or four times a day. Sometimes you had two in the afternoon. Uh, but <laughs> the majority of my time was literally just sat in the cab, watching my phone, watching films, watching whatever, basically doing jobs. I could have literally just parked up for an hour, got my running gear on and gone for a 4K run. It was so easy. Um, and nobody phoned up, nobody chased you or anything like that. That's how it was. Uh, I've done that, I did that for two weeks, I covered the Ask Me Back as well, luckily enough, one week, and I covered that early on this year as well. Uh, overall, it was a very, very easy job. Not much chance of overtime, like, but uh, a good easy job. Now, the funny thing was, um, I won't mention anything, but the driver, really nice guy, the original driver, but he got so much luck. I mean, he, got, he was threatening to leave because he lived quite far away, and this was when apparently the driver shortage... Uh, and they couldn't get a driver for some reason. Maybe they had two, a, a few more uh, runs to go. You know, they were doing a, quite a lot of runs at that stage. I don't know. But anyway, he said he was going to work for one of the big companies uh, delivering food stuff, very highly paid, you know, but hard work um, near where he lived. And they said, well, what will, it, uh, what will it take for you to stay? He'd been there. He'd helped him out a lot. And he'd, he'd gone the extra mile at times because he had a forklift truck license as well. So he helped out in the warehouse. Anyway, he said the price. I think he said, oh, 35,000. This is what this other job's offering me. And he got, he jumped, I think, from maybe 20, I don't know if it's 24,000, 25,000, maybe, give or take, up to 35,000. And I'm, you know, this is not his word or anything like that. I saw the wage slips and I saw the message on, on the phone confirming it. 35,000 for literally a six till two or six till half two job. So easy, no stress whatsoever. He landed on his feet. Now, fair to play to the man. He has gone over the board, uh, helped him out a lot at various stages, and also as well, uh, he's had a few very bad jobs as well uh, in in the day. So you know, fair play to the man. He's got a bit of luck there. But the, as for the job itself, that is so far my easiest class two job. I doubt I'm ever going to have an easier job ever than that. Some of you might out there might think, oh, God, I'd be bored, you know, waiting in the cab for hours. That's fine. You know, some people like that. Some people like to keep occupied. Uh, I spoke to an Arctic driver the other day and he said he did something like 15, 18 drops uh, in an Arctic. I said, how on earth do you want do you want to do that in an Arctic? And he says it just keeps me busy. I like it. So everyone's different. For me, you know, call me lazy, call me what you want, but I like things to be just easy and less stress. That, that's what I like to be. So it was an incredibly easy job. Um, yeah, apart from a little bit of handballing, no worries, no worries whatsoever. You knew you were going to be finished by two, um, and you just had a very much chilled out day. Okay, I will give you the name and phone number of this company in case you wanted any jobs, but uh, I don't want to get in trouble. Anyway, that's all for now. Just a quick video um, regarding that one. I will be uploading more videos soon. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up if you, if you like that. That'd be great. Put some comments in the in, in below. You know. Uh, anything you want me to maybe suggest and um, talking about anything any questions you've got I'm, I'm really happy to, to help as well all right thank you for watching and i'll uh, see you next time thank you